RF Yams gets a performance boost when importing projects. Because shifting and reducing the creation to only the necessary AABB collision boxes, and an optimized loading behavior when importing 3D models, an average import speedup of about 85% could be achieved. With the help of incremental saving, only the data that has changed is saved. As long as no changes are made on the geometry or collision matrix, the project file is saved. If changes are made, just the new models are saved in a new YAMS data. Which makes saving much faster as before. The pack and go function creates a new project file with on YAMS data which include all current corresponding files to this project. This function basically helps to archive or share the RF YAMS projects. One of the biggest factors to reduce the data size is the reduction of triangles. Our mesh optimizer reduces the geometries without changing the model surface in any significant way. An optimization of 50% reduces the file size by about 40% without visibly changing of the geometry. A long-awaited feature is the library function in RF Yams. With the current release this is now possible. The RF Yams library function can be used to build up a new project by just using the models of the library via drag and drop. Another big advantage is the sharing of customized models in between different projects as a shared library, as seen here. Our new RF Yams importer has also been expanded in the current release. With the new version, DXF files, for example from AutoCAD, can be imported directly. In the next two minutes, we will show you how easy it is with our new track edit, edit place and library function to build up a conveyor system and to set up a simulation. Hide unused bodies for a clearer presentation to draw the new track. Create a new track and connect them with a fixed joint to the main static body. Move it via drag and drop to the right position of the begin of this track. Activate the track edit mode and draw the new track along the layout. Split this one track into separate tracks along the layout models. Delete the unnecessary help tracks to draw it in one step. If the track is drawn in a wrong position, you can move it every time to the right position. Load a library with models to add 3D models for better presentation to the drawn track. With drag and drop in the snap function, you can really easily position the models beneath the track. It is possible to extend the drawn track and add new 3D models at any time. For a realistic presentation you can edit the model and adjust it to the 2D layout. In order for the track to move with the lifter, the track must be connected to the moving part of the lifter. Select a skid from library to use it in the simulation. The RF YAMS assistance helps you to build up the logical part very easy and fast. Import the signal list for the communication to the external tool RF Viper. Add a buffer as a cache of unused skids during the simulation. Define the skid and specify how much is available in the simulation. Add all drawn tracks into the assistance and connect them with signals for speed, fetch, send and light barriers. 
update the assistance to create all scripts. Start the simulation. With the integrated watchlist in the assistance, you can force the signals and test your system without an external tool. For more information visit our homepage, eks-intech.com.